till this point we have actually talked about some of the basic secrets of our powerful subconscious brain we already know that there is a major chunk of our brain is consisting of our subconscious brain that is about more than 88 percent today we are going to talk about four steps if you will start taking it it is going to change your life forever the moment i'm going to share those four steps that you would actually believe okay you already knew it but the thing is you need to listen to me very very carefully this neuro-linguistic programming has transformed my life. By neuro-linguistic programming, I mean to say my ability to understand my brain, how it works, how it works with the words, linguistic, the words and the speak, I mean the understanding with the linguistic, how these two things, my brain and the words that I use, how this Linguistics and my brain both have combined affected my past, affected my present and is going to affect my future programming. So today we are going to talk about the four steps or the four agreements that you need to make to yourself if you really want to have a smooth way of life towards your goal without major turbulence that can actually takes away your motivation, that takes away your ability to remain consistent and determined. Number one is, you already know about the secrets. Our brain, our sub powerful subconscious brain, cannot differentiate between fact and fiction, cannot differentiate between a positive command and a negative command. Our subconscious brain only functions on the thought that we have in our brain whether those thoughts are there we are trying to resist it or those thoughts are there where we are trying to adopt it it doesn't matter those thoughts are there so it is going to affect us so let's talk about these four steps if we take in our lives our lives is going to be transformed forever number one we need to be very impeccable. We need to be very crystal clear. We need to be very precise and very particular about the words that we speak while talking, while listening, while thinking, while acting for, while reacting for some, for some, it's everything, every emotions, every kind of uh, arguments or whatever the discussion is, those are actually the combination of words. So you need to be very precise and you need to be very crystal clear about the words that you use because the subconscious brain that actually makes you, that keeps you the way you are right now, doesn't understand whether those words are positive or negative, those words are you resisting it or you're accepting it, those words are facts or those words are fictions. It will actually affect and it will take effect and it will transform you accordingly. So you need to be Rule number one is you need to be very crystal clear about the word, the words that you think of, the words that you speak, the words that you listen, the words you, that you talk about, and the words that you bring your emotions about. So this is number one. Number two is do not take anything personally. Everything you, if you just look at your body, more than 99% of your body and its functions are not in your, in your control. Your blood flow, your heartbeat, breathing, your all 100 trillion cells, they're looking after and everything. It is not in your control. Breathing and this even blinking or whatever, the growth, the whole thing is moving on without your control. So the same is the thing with the outside world around you. So you don't need to take things personally. You need to focus on the things that is around you. You need to find the solutions. If you will take things personally, you are going to associate your emotions with those things so once you associate your emotions with those things it it has to affect you it has to affect you grossly it has to affect you negatively and consequently you will have a bad aspect of the things that is happening around you so learn not to associate your emotions you not to take things extraordinary personal no matter what those things are let's talk about the agreements or the rule number three for your life is the rule number three is stop 
making assumptions. Stop making assumptions because your brain is programmed to uh, generalize, delete or distort the incoming data that you and so to as an easy, easy way, as a shortcut oriented, we, st we start to make assumptions. Like Stop making assumptions about people, about things, about situations. You need to go and find out the reasons, the whole model of it. The whole working of it maybe somebody uh, i mean things are not the way we actually just look at it we need to understand that thing we need to start understanding the things keeping in view the content and the context both at the same time rule number four and the last rule is whenever you do something when you decide to do something do your best please do your best put your heart and soul into it while doing it be very honest with that doing that you are doing it you know the topmost rule f to gain success in your life is stop deceiving yourself be honest and be sincere with your own self once you be honest once you be sincere with your own self you would actually realistically you would start analyzing it you would start to understand your weaknesses and your strength your then you would be able to understand other people then you would gain that social strength to interact with other people and this is how it works you need to do that these four steps be very crystal clear about the words that you think you use you act you react don't take things personally don't associate your emotions with everything stop making assumptions don't make assumptions just on this just to avoid the uh, lengthy process just to avoid the hard work don't make assumptions about people about things about happenings about everything and whenever you do something do it with your heart and soul into it last but not the least let me tell you one thing there is always a model of success and failure there is nothing done by luck or just by chance every failure and every success has a proper model we do something with hard work we don't get the result that we wanted there is something wrong there is something we did wrong in that model